what is poppin your girl is back with another video and today we're gonna be talking about the time i found out my man was taking drugs so we gonna get right up into this video i have met this guy on instagram a few years back and when we like actually met we had already been following each other on instagram and we probably exchanged a few dms before we actually like exchange numbers and like really started to get to know each other um but at the time i did actually have a friend that i was besties with so anytime a guy would like dm me or whatever i will always um screenshot the person's like page picture info or whatever and i always send it to my friend just so he can like give me the tea be like basically yes you should talk to him or no you shouldn't and why and i would just you know get the whole scoop on him so that would be that he would be letting me know um so yeah so basically when i saw him i was like kind of attracted to him because he dresses really nice and i feel like i'm just a sucker for like a fly guy like a guy who knows how to dress like so yeah he was a pretty fly guy so um we ended up exchanging numbers and once we exchanged numbers um then i feel like we just started to get real cool we would um facetime and talk on the phone text a lot and at the time he lived in LA and I lived in Ohio. So we had actually um, arranged to meet up. He was just gonna come to um, Columbus because he already would like come to Columbus a lot. And he was the type of person who he flew around a lot and he was very private. So he wouldn't really tell people like where he's going to be and when he's going to be. He would just be like, okay, like we're going to link. You know and it would never be like a oh this day time we're gonna link it would just be a we're gonna link so it's like okay and um the type of business he did um uh, kind of required him to travel a lot too he was a music a and r so he like wrote music for people um and he just knew basically a lot of big people, a lot of very known people. So he would just be working with them, making music for them, you know, all that jazz. So that was another reason why I liked to, to hang out with him because I just felt like anytime I hang out with him, it's like, it's a vibe. Like we have fun, we kick it, like it's a good time. We used to sit around, laugh drinks eat you know like it's a good time so now it's time to finally link oh wait before i hit that part so when i said that we were getting to know each other and we were like starting to get close so he did reveal to me that he used to um I'm gonna put this. Huh. Well, he did drugs at a point of time. And if you are familiar with LA or you've ever been to LA, a lot of people there, um, they like, you know, like sniff stuff a lot. Um, it's very common there. A lot of people in the industry or like um, entertainers, like that is their drug of choice there in LA. So it's very common. It's not like out of the ordinary or anything like that. So that is mm, something pretty normal, like for you to do if you're down there. Like a lot of people, they just do that. So. He was just explaining to me how he got like caught up into it, but then he finally got away from it. 
so he doesn't do it anymore so i'm like okay cool so fast forward to our first link he ends up flying into columbus he gets a hotel which i don't necessarily think this is our first link but almost every time he went there he would get a hotel but he had family there so sometimes he would stay with them sometimes he'd get a hotel but this time he had got a hotel so he was basically selling things you know like a street pharmacist would if you, if you, if you get what i'm saying so there was a person that had came to the hotel and they came to the hotel while we're just sitting there chilling and they come up to the hotel and at this point of time i had never seen anything like this except for on tv so the guy comes up and there's this table and um on the table they put this white substance on the table he rolls up a hundred dollar bill so it's like um spiral you know and then he had this little like card i don't know if it was like a bus card or whatever but it was like a trend something and he started to like chop it up and then i'll put a picture here because i was so in shock i had to get a picture of it but they were like chopping it up you know taking their lines and anybody that knows me they know i make so many faces so i'm trying so hard to like hold it together i'm just sitting there like because i'm trying so hard not to judge but i'm judging you so hard right now like yes i am and i'm like but i thought you said and you i thought you stopped and you was bettering yourself but yeah that's neither here nor there so it's none of my business so yeah so that happened and then he's walking the guy out and once he walked the guy out that is how i got a picture and then once i got a picture i'm like telling my friends like omg like this guy is up here sniffing stuff and like in shock in shock so then this is the second incident so and this right here is just like crazy to me so we had linked with some people um i won't say what they do because it's too much information but basically we had linked with this people that I had went to high school with and they're um, pretty known, pretty like, you know? So they're doing business with him, like they're sitting there talking business and he's like basically telling them, oh, well, you should take these steps, these steps, these steps. And um, basically he knows how to do like certain business deals and just contracts and all that stuff like that. So. He's talking to them, but as he's talking to them and they're like showing them some of their work and stuff, they bring out the white stuff again. So they bring out the white stuff, put it on the table, and then the dude chops it up with the card and they start sniffing it and I would have never guessed that the people that was doing this was doing this is all i'm going to say like i was just looking like blown away as soon as i left there as soon as i left there, i called my friends like you do not believe who i just saw because but I'm gonna mind my business that is all I was thinking like 
that was just so shocking to me. Because I just be wanting to know what be going on with people or what be going on in their life for them to just want to put something in their nose. Like, but it's none of my business again. So, yeah. And I, I mean, me and that guy, we never really talked on that level after that but we're still friends to this day still my dog like yeah but that is just a story of how i found out that my man was on drugs well thank you for watching this video make sure you subscribe because you're going to want to see a video every single time i upload so yes thank you